Hey guys and gals from the uh, Warrior Hockey programs and teams across the country. Um, my name is Kevin Miller. I play for the Boston Bruins and uh, I just wanted to send a quick message and update some uh, words of encouragement. Uh, first, I'll give you a little intro of my hockey background. So I uh, grew up in California, played hockey out there until I was about 16 and moved, uh, moved to the East Coast to continue that. Um, I played at the University of Vermont for four years and was fortunate enough to sign with, with Boston after that and I've I've uh, been with them ever since, going on nine seasons with the organization now and loving every minute of it. Um, how my connection is with uh, Operation Hattrick and Red River, uh, I grew up with a couple of good close buddies that uh, who served and who still serve and um, that's how I, I got involved with OHT. Uh, he actually, a friend of mine in uh, the Naval Special Warfare community, connected me with uh, Mr. Hardy, Steve Hardy, uh, which is uh, Nate Hardy's father. Uh, Nate passed away, uh, and that's that's kind of how Operation Hattrick was was formed. And um, I was uh, fortunate enough to get connected with them, and and uh, for my because my my passion is is uh, supporting and uh, and giving back to to those who have uh, served and sacrificed and uh, continue to do that. Um, that's that's kind of my why and how I got connected with Operation Hattrick, and it's been a a great relationship. Um, they've been. Awesome to us and awesome to the Boston Bruins. I know they've done a, a ton for the Warrior hockey teams and programs, and they do a ton behind the scenes. And we're we're really thankful for that uh, that relationship and that partnership. And um, we're we're thankful for all they do for you guys. Um, something that uh, I know a lot of you guys are going through right now is we're all in this uh, this kind of strange time with the quarantine. We're still under that as well. We're not quite sure uh, what's going to happen, but. Uh, we're really hoping to get back to hockey soon and hopefully get some playoffs and uh, we'll see what happens but there's a lot up in the air as I'm sure you guys are in the same boat um, it's a it's a weird and trying time but um, I have faith that there's some hopefully there's some light at the end of the tunnel soon and we can get back to some normalcy um, I definitely as a hockey player and as a lot of you guys know is uh, you miss that that competition that camaraderie and your teammates um, I know my wife's probably getting sick of me at this point, but uh, we've spent a lot of time at home, but we've been, been trying to stay connected with the, t uh, with the team and, and the guys, and I encourage you guys to do the same, to lean on each other at this time and making sure everybody's staying safe and healthy and, and checking in on guys both physically and emotionally. Um, I know for me personally, it's I've been kind of battling. Uh, I've been on the injury reserve for a while, and I've had um, a, knee, a nagging knee injury that's been – Kind of plaguing me for the past almost year now i know there's a, a lot of you that can relate with that and um that's been especially hard at this time but uh at the same time it's uh it's been great to have my teammates uh check in on me and i've done the same so i encourage you guys to continue to do that um just know that uh as players that we uh we cherish and uh and, and thank you guys for for all you've done uh for us to continue to play this great game in this great country and that, that you've served and sacrificed and that means so much to us and you know just know that we're thinking of you guys during this time and um, we just want to thank you for your service uh, it's been you know it goes a long way for a lot of guys and a lot of people in this country that to know that um, not just the military but our first responders police officers firefighters and people in the hospital are out there um, basically on the front lines and doing doing uh, God's work and making sure that everybody's staying happy and healthy. So we just want to thank you guys for your service and sacrifice again. And uh, we're truly forever, forever grateful for that. Um, during this time, just to uh, encourage you guys again to stay safe, stay, stay healthy, um, support each other, lean on each other. And, and uh, we'll try and do some more updates like this soon. But just wanted to touch base and, and wish you guys all the best. And hopefully we can get back to hockey soon. Uh, take care. God bless.